Ooh, it's like, it's like really green. Okay. Oh, it smells like dessert. But like when I like move my head back and forth, I can feel it. Hi guys, welcome to Emory Lane. Where my goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. I am so excited. I feel like I say that every time, but like literally I'm so excited because we're gonna be battling the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer against the new Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Ah! When I saw this was part of their new collection, I was like, that looks a lot like the Jelly Pop Primer packaging, but just mint. And I looked into it, I'm like, oh, they're really similar. The big difference difference I noticed though is it's two dollars cheaper so we're gonna open this up if we can their packaging is always so hard oh we got it we're gonna start with the jelly pop one and I think I'm gonna do that on the I'll do it on the left side of my face since I have acne on both sides of my face now so instructions are the same for both use your fingers to pat it onto your skin and let it dry for 30 seconds before you put on the rest of your makeup let's get this going come on come on out you can do it oh oh there we go I probably did too much for just one half of my face whoops was anyone else heartbroken when it it looked like they discontinued it but they just stopped selling it until the summer again I was like so sad but then they brought it back and I assumed they would stop selling it once winter hits again but no they didn't it kept going okay I think that's all padded in okay now the mint side on the right my right I keep saying the right in every video I need to say my right and my left okay what do you look like Use an opposite hand so we don't get formulas mixed up. Ooh, it's like, it's like really green. Okay. Oh, it smells like dessert. Okay, I'm curious to see if it'll have like a cooling effect. Anything? I don't feel anything yet. It could take a second. Sometimes mint stuff takes a second for it to hit your skin, really. So in the description of both, it basically is the same thing. A unique gel-like texture primer that keeps makeup in place while hydrating your skin. And the only difference in the descriptions of both of them is it says it has a cooling effect. And that's literally it. It has a cooling sensation with a vanilla mint scent. Oh, in the Jelly Pop one, it mentions they both have the key ingredients of hyaluronic acid. That's the only key ingredient that is a same. The mint one is for all skin types and it doesn't give a skin type specific with the Jelly Pop one. But I mean, the main reason that I love this one so much, the gripping effect, is also supposed to be in this. So, okay, so it definitely does have a slight cooling effect. I was expecting it to be a little bit stronger, to be honest, with the way they're pushing the idea of a cooling effect. But like when I like move my head back and forth, I can feel it on this side and this side I can't. So like it's there. Both sides feel tacky like normal. Because the mint one doesn't mention anything about dewy like the Jelly Pop one does, I didn't think it would be, but it definitely has like a glow to it. I don't mind that at all. But when it talked about being for oily skin, I thought that kind of canceled out the idea of being dewy. You know what I mean? I really like it so far. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. I just got a new bottle because I was dried out and Physicians Formula actually just came out with a new foundation that I'm going to compare to this one next week. So get excited for that. But we're just going to dab this all over. Whenever I'm doing a primer review, I always love using a neutral foundation. That way we can see what kind of finish the primer has for reals and what's gonna shine through. And I know it looks like a lot, but it's not, I promise. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge. I'm gonna make sure I flip it around when I'm blending out one side versus the other so I don't get formulas mixed up. Everything looks good. Oh, I have a question real fast. Do you guys like it when I do more than one check-in throughout the day? Or do you prefer that I just do the one outside like I normally do and that's good enough for you. Cause I've just been doing the one outside in the last few videos, but I'm curious if there's a preference or you're just like, man, it doesn't matter. Okay, you can see a little bit of the glow coming through with the Jelly Pop side. You can see everything is really good. Very happy with how it looks on that side. Try not to get foundation in the hair and go on on this side. Okay, so one thing I immediately noticed is it seems like this is slightly more tacky. Love a tacky primer. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put some underneath my eyes. Whoops. I'll just stick it under there right now. It's fine. <laughs> Looking head on, the Jelly Pop side does look more dewy with the foundation on. I feel like the foundation kind of neutralized the dewiness a little bit. Just a little bit on the mint side. There's still some like glow poking through but it's more like a healthy glow rather than a more like aggressive in your face dewy not that the jelly pop one's aggressive you know what I'm saying real fast I'm gonna stick the primer just a little tiny bit underneath my eye without getting it on the foundation let that dry and then 
just concealer underneath real fast. And I had someone comment that they used this incognito concealer that I did a review on that I love so much that they used it without setting it afterwards and that it worked out just fine. And so we're gonna take this opportunity to see if this primer can help the concealer. I might regret that decision, I don't know. Okay, this is what we look like so far. Loving it, loving both sides. I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup real fast. I'll be right back. Okay, this is what it looks like all done. I love how everything looks. Like, it's just amazing. Love it. The little bit of the cooling sensation that was there isn't anymore. Maybe it'll come back. I don't know. Or maybe that's just like a thing that happens when you're applying it and then it goes away. But like, beautiful. Love it. And it's $2 less, so I love it more. So like I mentioned, I'm not gonna use any setting powder or setting spray. These are on their own. We have to see how strong they are. It's currently 12:17, and I'm gonna go about my day. I'll do a check in outside, most likely right before it gets dark. During girl golden and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, it is, I think 5.15 or 5.30, something like that. It's getting close to being dark, so I have to do a check-in. I cannot wait until it is not dark before dinner time. Anyway, so I wanted to show you, I took a clip at like three o'clock, right before I went to go run some errands. So you can see what my face looks like right before I put on a mask. And the mask didn't affect the makeup at all. I think everything looks like incredible. Nothing is overly shiny or anything like that. Acne's still covered up. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. Hair. Just just ignore us. It. <laughs> it's done. It's currently 103. I'm slightly behind schedule. But you know, better late than ever. Can I just say this honestly went a lot better than I thought it would. It's been a long time since I've used the jelly pot primer without like a setting powder and or setting spray. And I'm like, okay, cool. So right off the bat, I'm noticing the acne on the jelly pop side is showing through more than on the mint side. I also have some smile lines that are creasing on the jelly side and it's not on the mint side. I feel like I'm talking about desserts when I just narrow it down to jelly and mint. <laughs> I think things are cracking a little bit more on this side and it's more shiny, like obviously. It's it's a dewy primer, but my oiliness is coming through a lot more on this side. There definitely have some oiliness, but the acne is holding up better on this side for sure. No smile lines on this side. Things seem to be holding up a little bit better on the mint side. I mean, both sides look actually really good. My bronzer stayed on very well. Like from a distance, I would not mind this makeup at all. When you get a little bit closer, it's a little easier to tell. And my makeup has been in this situation for probably about two hours. I noticed at 11 o'clock, it kind of hit this point and it stayed at this point up until then. It did really, really well. So I still love the Jelly Pop Primer and if I use any mattifying foundation before it dries me out too much or I just need to be extra glowy that day, I will reach for this one. But this, the mint one's like really, really good. For someone who doesn't like a dewy, formula for whatever reason or if you have a hard time with oiliness especially towards the end of the day and it's two dollars cheaper <laughs> So th this guy's the winner. If you want to see a video battling the original Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer versus their new matte formula, you can click right here. I love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye. Okay. I cannot get over how bad my hair is. Whatever.